All right, I have a quick question. How do you upgrade from Windows 8? A uh, simple toss, you just install Windows 7. All right, well, that joke is for all of my Linux uh, friends. I need to uh, wait about a couple hours for all of the laughter to stop. All right, I'll see you later. All right, I'm just kidding. That was a joke. Windows 8. When was the last time a piece of technology and operating system incited so much controversy? Um, what, since, uh, not since Microsoft Windows Vista? All right, well, this is Windows 8. One year later, I look forward, I look back, and I look right now, I suppose. Uh, for those of you who remember seeing my first look at this, and I've talked about this many times in various uh, Toscast podcasts, I thought back then, as I do now, that Windows 8 looks different, and it looked and still looks terrific. You know, for those of us who use Linux, you know, with Windows, it's always the same old, same old. You know, you went from... You know, from Windows XP to Windows Vista, yeah, it changed a little bit from Vista to, you know, uh, Windows 7. A few more cosmetic changes, although Windows 7 is really what Vista should have been. And then there was, then there was a jump to what you see here, Windows 8. And for a lot of people, it was like, wow, what the bleep is this? Now, when I first saw this, I thought, man, this really looks cool. And the first time I looked at this, this was the beta, in beta format. And I thought, okay, well, this has potential, but, you know, it's, 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 it seems like it's more optimized for touch screens than it was and still is. But like a lot of people, I was looking at this, and by the way, I love the super key. Just tap the Windows key, toggle back and forth, very user-friendly. But, but I was like, and probably millions of other people were like, okay, uh, where is the start? Oh, there it is, start. You just click start, and you just, and it's not working. You try to click start and nothing happens. This was probably the number one fundamental problem with Windows 8. But let's talk about the good first briefly, and then I'll talk about the bad. The good part of this, as I said, it looks different. It's not the same old, same old. All you Linux users can't say that. Uh, it runs pretty good. I have allotted in this virtual machine. Well, let me just show you what I have running here. And I'm really surprised how smooth this is running. All right, let's go to performance memory. I have allotted only about one gigabyte of RAM. That's it, you know, running this alongside Ubuntu. Now, let me just say from the start, you should not be running Windows 8 with just one gigabyte of RAM. If you do gaming or multitasking, it's probably gonna crash and it's probably not going to run right. But for this demonstration purpose, you know, as I was installing this, I'm thinking, man, this is gonna crash and wasting my time. It's running pretty smooth, so looks, I think I'll give it an A+. Plus. Performance, so far, pretty good in the brief random times I have run this since last year. No crashes, no blue screens, pretty good. Now, I haven't tested all of the apps, of course, there are too many. But so far, looks and performance, this is pretty good. And for touchscreens, as I said, it gives you an option besides, you know, Apple's iPad and the uh, Android or the um, something uh, different if you're looking for something different from the Google Nexus 7 tablet which I bought one for my kid and that's fine and dandy so Windows 8 looks good performance is better than Windows 7 and the way these live tiles work and of course these are you know you can move these around these are all customizable that's good too that's the good parts of this what are the bad parts? Well, as I said, I think for a lot of people, this was just way too much of a shock, a transitional shock from Windows 7 to Windows 8. As a lot of people, like myself in the beginning, how do I get to the start menu? Well, you know, if you right click, you have what are called apps. Now, this is good too, but it's not quite finalized now this is a windows 8 it's not 8.1 i haven't downloaded i'm not even sure if i will download or install 8.1 from what i understand 8.1 may be more cosmetic changes than functional but what i do like about this you can just type in something and go from there but the search feature isn't 
fully optimized. For example, okay, I want to go to Windows Update. All right, you type an update, and no apps match your search. Or let's see, restore. I need. To, I need. I, I want to do a system restore. And once again, now I know all of these functions are in Control Panel, and that's fine. But you know, this is not quite optimized. This may have changed in 8.1. I don't know. But as it is. As it was released, it wasn't it wasn't really quite that user friendly, even when you're doing a search. Another thing is with this: how do you really uh, integrate multitasking? Uh, you know, go to calendar. Okay, wait for this to boot up, and now what? Okay, you right click. This will give you uh, some basic options for this. I suppose I can just click the uh, super key, go back to Internet Explorer. Okay, but this works, but I, I would have preferred, you know, multi screens or multitasking here rather than going to the uh, hot corners, if this will work. Okay, there it is there. You know, this part I really, for myself, this is not really that user friendly. Now, once again, this may have changed in 8.1, but as far as Windows 8 goes, you can see why for a lot of users who had Windows 7, this was quite frustrating to use because it really wasn't quite optimized for non touchscreen computers. All right, so what about the future of Windows 8? Well, it's clear this is it. It's not it's not changing back to Windows 7. If you have a touch screen, this is probably fine. Windows 8.1, I haven't looked at yet, may address some of these issues. And really, all of this controversy could have been avoided if Microsoft would have just installed a simple drop-down menu extension. For example, we see where it says start here. That should be a functional start button. Click that and really something like this of what you see in Ubuntu. If something like this would have dropped down from here, we probably would be avoiding all of this controversy. But they chose to go full steam into full application mode, full apps, and on a desktop, it's just not quite that user friendly. Well, that is my look at Windows 8 one year later. Let me know what you guys think. Do you have Windows 8? Do you have Windows 8.1? Is it that much better? Not really. I think Windows 8 looks terrific. Performance is top notch. But, you know, usability, user friendliness, I think I still prefer at this point as it stands to stick with Windows 7. That's it. Thank you so much for watching and listening. And as always, I will catch all of you sometime in the future.